Leotprand was the king of the Lombards from 712 to 744 and is chiefly remembered for his donation of Sutri in 728 and his long reign, which brought him into a series of conflicts, mostly successful, with most of Italy. He is often regarded as the most successful Lombard monarch. Early life Leotprand's life began inauspiciously. His father was driven to exile among the Bavarians, his older brother Sigipert was blinded by Aripert II, king of the Lombards and his mother Theodorada and sister Orona were mutilated. Leotprand was spared only because his youth made him appear harmless. He was released from Aripert II's custody and allowed to join his father, Reign. The reign of Leoprand, son of Ansprand, Duke of Asti and briefly king of the Lombards began the day before his father's death when magnets called to Ansprand's deathbed consented to make Leoprand his colleague. Leoprand's reign endured for 31 years. Within the Lombard kingdom he was considered a lawgiver of irreproachable Catholicity. Relations with the age of of Bavaria at the opening of his reign, Leoprand's chief ally among neighboring rulers was the age of Theodori, the Frankish Duke of Bavaria. Theodore I's intervention on Ansprand's behalf helped him gain the throne. Theodore had taken him in, when he and his father were temporarily expelled by Aripit II in 702, and the hospitality was later cemented with a marriage connection. Leotprand took to wife the age of in Guntrude. The core of Theodore's policy was resistance to the Merovingian mayors of the palaces in their encroachments north of the Alps. Concerns that did not much occupy Leotprand, and maintaining strategic control of the eastern Alpine passes in what is now the Italian Alps, which did. In the spring of 712, Theodore's son Theodobert, with Ansprand and Leotprand, attacked Lombard strongholds, and with the drowning of their fleeing rival Aripit, Ansprand's faction were back in power at Pavia. Theodore died in 717 or 718. Under his successor the Lombard ties with the age of Lulfing weakened, until distracted by Byzantine politics in 726. Leotprand's chief war-making energies were concentrated on taking Bavarian castles on the river Adige. Byzantine wars in his early reign, Leotprand did not attack the Exarchate of Ravenna or the Papacy. But in 726, the Emperor Leo III made his first of many edicts outlawing images or icons. The Pope, Gregory II, ordered the people to resist and the Byzantine Duke of Naples, Exiliratis, was killed by a mob while trying to carry out the imperial command to destroy all the icons. Leotprand chose this time of division to strike the Byzantine possessions in Emilia. In 727, he crossed the Po and took Bologna, Arzimo, Rimini and Ancona, along with the other cities of Emilia and the Pentapolis. He took Classus, the seaport of Ravenna, but could not take Ravenna itself from the exarch Paul. Paul was soon killed in a riot, however, eventually, Ravenna would capitulate to Leoprand with barely a fight. The first Moorish raids on Corsica began around 713 to 719 from the Balearic Islands to the west. Acting as the protector of the Catholic Church and its faithful, Leotprand subjected the island to Lombard government, though it was nominally under Byzantine authority. Corsica remained with the Lombard kingdom even after the Frankish conquest, by which time Lombard landholders and churches had established a significant presence on the island. When the Saracens invaded Sardinia, Leoprand redeemed the body of Augustine about the year 720. He brought it with great ceremony to Pavia, and enshrined it in the church of St. Peter in Seal de Ro, which was then the cathedral of Pavia. Donation of Sutri having just overwhelmed the Byzantine forces, though it was left to his heirs to make the final vestige of the exarchate of Ravenna Lombard at last.
Leoprand advanced towards Rome along the Via Cassia. He was met at the ancient city of Sutri by Pope Gregory II. There the two reached an agreement, by which Sutri and some hill towns in Latium were given to the papacy, as a gift to the blessed apostles Peter and Paul. According to the Liber Pontificalis, they were the first extension of papal territory beyond the confines of the Duchy of Rome. This was the beginning of the Papal States. In the meantime, Leo sent Eutychius, as ex-arch of Ravenna, to take control of Italy. When Eutychius arrived at Naples, he made an agreement whereby Leoprand would attack the Pope if the Greeks aided him in subjugating the contumacious and independent southern Lombard duchies, the Duchy of Spoleto and the Duchy of Benevento, the Dukes, Thrashimun II and Godescalc surrendered, though control of the duchies from Pavia was not to endure for long, and the new exarch marched on Rome. At Rome, Leoprand camped on the far bank of the Tiber in the field of Nero, and arbitrated, returning to the exarch the city of Ravenna alone among the Byzantine territories and prevailing on the Pope to restore his allegiance to the Emperor. Frankish relations following the death of Theodore, Leoprand turned from his former age Adolfing allies to bind himself to Charles Martel. Duke of the Franks, whose son, Pepin the Short, he adopted and girded with arms at his coming of manhood. In 733 Leoprand promulgated the Notitiod Heractri Bis Regis, a series of six laws, presaging the later Frankish capitulary and structure. They sought to kirk the usurpation by local administrators of public lands. In 735 to 736, a serious illness encouraged Leotprand to raise his nephew Hildeprand to co-kingship. In 736 to 737, Leotprand crossed the Alps with an army to help Charles expel the Moors from Aix en Provence and Arles. In 738, a long peace was broken by the rebellious Lombard Duke of Spoleto, Thrashimun II. When the revolt was suppressed, with nephews of Leoprand established at Beneventum and Spoleto, the dukes fled to Rome and the protection of Pope Gregory III. Leoprand immediately began the conquest of the Ducatus Romanus, the province around Rome. After capturing Orte and Bomarzo, he arrived at Rome and besieged it. The Pope sent an embassy to Charles Martel to beg for aid, promising favor then and in the future world. The cover letter survives. Gregory conferred on him the title of patrician. Gregory's anti-Lombard rhetoric reached absurd heights considering Leotprand's orthodoxy. The Lombard king only wanted his rebellious dukes to face justice. Charles ignored the Pope's successive charges against his erstwhile ally and instead sent back his own embassy to mediate between the two Italian powers. Before any headway was made, however, both Pope and Frank died. Death soon after the death of Gregory III, Zachary was elected to the Apostolic See. Leotprand happily signed a 20-year peace and restored the cities of the Duchy of Rome of which he had taken possession. Soon after, his reign ended in peace. Having passed more years on the throne and come closer to bringing the entire peninsula under one rule than any of his predecessors, the Great Lombard died in 744 and was buried the church of San Pietro in Sealed Row, in Pavia.